Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is video three, I think. Um, wow, if I've lost count by now, that's, that's terrible. We're not off to a good start. Uh, one last uh, really important thing that I forgot to mention in the list of tools is a glove. Very, very important when you're working with the steel wire. It tends to want to unwind on you when you get right to the end of the, of the spring. So it's really important to have some hand protection. So I, I figured, I know I said, I think in my last, either my last video or my first video, that I wasn't going to show you the actual winding process. And I thought to myself just a minute ago, it would be kind of pointless and kind of goes against my own pet peeve if I leave out important steps and, and don't show, you know, and that kind of gets back to the, the whole thing about nobody really shows how to make a Faraday suit or shows, you know, talks about the details of it. So it, it would seem kind of pointless for me to give you just little bits and pieces. And hopefully this will help me avoid a lot of questions and emails and panic and people going, oh, I missed a step or I don't understand what you're doing here. How'd you get from, from point A to point B? Uh, I, don't, I don't understand the middle part. So, so I've got some wire here. I went ahead and unspooled just a little bit to show you. I've got my, uh, I've got the drill attached. So what we'll do is, and a lot of you, you know, this is probably pretty simple stuff, but like I said, I'm just being thorough. So you take the end of the wire and you feed it through that little hole that I was telling you about. So you can see now, hopefully, that the little wire that's fed through. So, and all we're gonna do is just give the drill a little light spin to get it started. And then once that's happening, Okay, here's that really important part that I was telling you about why it's so important to have the glove. When you, uh, I'll go ahead and wind this on a little further. When you release this, it really likes, it looks like it caught there, but it really likes to spin on you. Um, you know, it's, it's a spring, so it's gonna release its, uh, its energy, its built up energy. So, there we go. Now we got the spring completely loose, and what I normally do is I just kinda pull this away a little bit from where that hole is, and then just take your big cutters and you want to cut that loose and just pull out the, the little piece. So, so there is that little piece that was holding together the, uh, I was holding the coil on the axle, so that's free, and we can throw that away. And now our spring rides freely, so at this point, at least on, on my rig, I have to uh, disengage the drill, take the drill off, and then this, with a little grease, just slides right out and right off. So now there we have it. There's our wire. And what I normally do after I do that is, let me actually zoom back out a little bit, is I will take a cutter and just clip off the ends. That way you don't have, uh, you're not gonna end up using these coils anyways because they're uh, stretched out. So there we go, there's our, our perfect spring ready to go. Uh, I got a little bit of a, uh, looks like I stretched it out a little too far right here. And, and as I'm cutting, when I get to that coil, you can choose to use that and try to, to rebend it to you know its correct shape. I normally, if there's a little goof like that, I'll just throw that ring out. Um, so, so that's it for this video. Uh, next time we'll get a, a close up of these and we'll, uh, We'll cut some of these rings up, and I'll actually show you up close how to how to push the rings together with the two pliers. So thanks for watching.